Dougie, you ready? Dougie's not ready. He's not ready. All right. Okay. Hey. Class. Yes. All right. So this is going to be one of the tax things that everyone's been asking about because it's something that everyone has to do. And when they talk about your math career or whatever it is, what you got to do here, this is going to be the math that you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. So you can't say, oh, when am I going to do this in my real life? So hopefully for some of you, it's going to be uh, before, before April 15th this year. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look. So also deadline for late work is going to be 3-9. That's Thursday next week because we got half days and it's end of the quarter. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to start off with this one right here. So I gave you guys all a W-2. So we're going to go in and start filling in these W-2 with the information from here. So this guy's name is... So please pay attention. Hey, shut your pocket and pay attention. Now, employee with the two E, that is you. Employer, E-R, is going to be the person that pays you. Who gives you the money is employer. Okay, so this guy, Billy J. Does. Address, Social Security is up here on top. And option A, box one, amount of money. So we're going to go through and start filling this in. So let's take a look at the 1040 I gave you guys. And you people are going to start filling this in. Yep, you're going to fill it in as Billy. Middle initial. Social security number. Yes, that's what you're doing. You're filling out the name from this. This is for Billy. Fill in the social security number. Yes, he is single. <laughs> Next thing is going to be, after this, we're going to go down to home address. So right here for home address, we're going to take this one here, which is the, was it 6101 North America Avenue? American? Mm -hmm. America! Really? Not in an apartment? Mm, no. Nope. Built in, was it Missouri? Is MO Missouri? I think so. Montana's MN, I think. Uh, I'm sorry, no. One more time. Separate oh, your zip state code. and zip code on your your 1040. How? Go back to your 1040. It's so, two separate slots. Yeah, they're in separate slots. You put them all in one. Oh, I did, didn't I? All Look right. Look at you messing up, man. I know, I know. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you spelled Billy wrong. I did. Yeah. What about the Zotany? <laughs> Dude. Wait, what did he spell? You did? It's I E. Damn, Pacho. I know. Student, I'm telling you, I had to go to the bathroom after Tony did, and it was a contact high just <laughs> because I went in there. Okay. Check here if you or your spouse is filing jointly. No. No. Just now. All right. So I got it now? Yes. There we go. All right. Succeeding. So, city. Missouri zip code. Now for us, we are just going to do some skipping down here because all this stuff is not necessary. And all right, like I already said, Billy is single. So I'm going to put Billy as single. Now the next thing that we're going to go to is since he's single, he doesn't have any baby mamas. He doesn't, it's not age blindness, no dependence, none of this stuff. 
Oh, thank you. Uh, that one is virtual currency right here. It's going to be a no. So Billy's a no. Thank you. I know, right? I'm trying to go by my answer key up here and I can't find it. All right, so he did not have any cryptocurrency or Bitcoin. Now, the next thing we're going to go to is option or line one. Line one says wages, salaries, tips, etc. Yep, it is box one from my W-2. So 39027. Yes. All right, the next thing that we go to is let's see. Uh, attach B, we don't have any of these. Can't pay income schedules, add lines. Okay, add lines one, two, B, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is your total income. So, did we add anything else? No. No, so his income stays the same. At nine? Yes, at nine. Adjustments to income schedule one. Okay, that one's going to be no adjustment. We're going to put a zero right there. So go ahead, zero here. And then 11. Subtract 10 from 9. Ten. No, no, no. Line ten. Oh. Line ten. I'm sorry. <laughs> line line so nine. Lost. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay. Don't don't forget. I, I'm I'm not. I'm kind of moron today. Just today. Yes. So right here, three nine. Zero two seven. There we go. So not negative one. No, not negative one. All right, so next one we're going to do is going to be 12B. Standard deduction from Schedule A. Now, on yours that you currently have in your hand, it is a 2001. 2001 taxes, your standard deduction was, it's over here on the left. It's over here on the left. Standard deductions. 12, Yep. One, two, five, five, zero. A or B? 12A. 12A. 12B is charitable contributions. So Billy gave nothing to charity. Damn, he's a bad dude. I know. Pacho, you picked like the worst people for our examples. Yep. All right. So on 12C, it says add 12A and 12B. Yep. Next one, 13. We don't have any business income. 13. Okay. This one right here, nothing. Don't worry about it. We don't have those either. Oh, that was 13. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so 14. Box 14. Add lines 12C and 13. So we're adding those together. And so now taxable income, this one right here, super important. Okay, out of all this, we really are just filling in stuff right now. Now it says subtract line 14 from 11. 26,477. Very good. So it's 14 from 11. So I have 39,027 minus my 12,550 which is going to give me, you said two, six, what? 477. 
Yes. Okay, make sense? Now, hold on to that number. We're going over here. Now, tax. So now we have to go and bring up No, no, no. I'm trying to bring it up here. No, because I, I have to I have to bring up this other page. You guys actually have it is this. This sheet right here. Oh, I don't know. You guys remember this one? This is 8.2. And that's why I'm just bringing it up. All right. So for 2001... Oh, dang it, I brought up the wrong one. All right, so this is not exactly the same as what we have, but I wanted to at least have it up here on the board. Filing jointly. Here we are. So, if you guys go on, if you guys, it's in your notebook. Let's take a look right here. So, if we're paying attention, what percent do I pay for my first 9,950? 10%, right? And <clears throat> on this other one, you're gonna pay 12% on everything else above that. So I'm gonna bring up my calculator so we can see this. There we go. All right, so I have my $9,950 times 0 .10. That's going to give me my first 10%, $995. Now I got to do 12% on everything above that. So this guy, his name, Billy. He made 39000 but his taxable income, so he only has to pay taxes on this number here. On box 15, he only has to take pay taxes on that. So 26477 26477 minus my bottom bracket, which is 9950. So this amount, so 16527 he's going to pay 12% on. Take this times 0.12. And now, so I'm paying 12% on this, and I paid 10% on this. So what should I do with these two values right here? Let's add them together. And so we're going to just put it in. We're going to, if you notice, all the values that we've been plugging in, we've been just dropping off the cents. So on this one right here, it's 29.78. So for box 16, 2.978. That's how much he is going to owe. Does that make sense or no? Kinda? All right. So now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go down the list. How does it work to pay that like off? Like, does it pay all at once or like? Uh, all at once or if you do payments, they charge you interest also. 
Wait, you'll see here in a second. I'm getting there. He does, he's not going to end up having to O. So the next thing that we're going to go to, so we don't have anything special, non-tax credits, none of this other stuff. So down to box 24. Add lines 22 and 23. Twenty-two, twenty-three. So if we go up and look here, amount schedule two right here. This was a zero. Next one, zero. Non-refundable, zero. Nineteen and twenty. Subtract twenty-one from eighteen. Us empty zero. Now, so this one right here, we're going to come down to box 24. We just bring this one down. It's going to be my 2978 that I had up here. So this is just going to be the easy version of the taxes because he doesn't have any special things to take out. Yeah. Because self-employment tax, that, that has to do with like another job. So this guy doesn't have another job. All right, federal income withhold from W-2. So let's go look at his W-2 on box 25A. How much did he get with him? 3,125? So right here, he paid three thousand one twenty-five. That goes towards his federal taxes, right? Huh? Would that go towards his federal taxes? Yeah, this is federal. Arizona is a different one. It's this right here, this box, box two. Now, so you know, twenty-five B zero. 25B at 1099. So if I gave Luke $100 to go poop scoop all the crap in my yard, he would get a 1099. Say he would have to pay taxes against that $100 that I paid him. So I give him $100, but then he needs to claim that as income. Does that make sense? So we don't have any of that here. So that one's going to be zero. 25C, additional, zero. Now, 25D. 25D right here, add lines. So add them all up. So this is going to be 3,125. So we added up all the 25s. Twenty-six is going to be blank. So this uh, estimated tax payments and amount applied from the return from previous. So that one is if you, uh, I don't know, you got more deductions or something that carried over. So don't worry about those. This one's just going to be a basic. And so now the next one we're going to go down to is box 33. We didn't have anything right here for these refundables or payments for 32, but box 33, add lines 25D, 26, and 32. And I only have one of them, right? Which is three, one, two, five. Box 34, if line 33 is more than 24, 33, 24. Is 33 more than 24? Yes? yes. And it says you overpaid. So this is the amount that you overpaid. So if this is more than this, subtract the two, and we're gonna that's gonna be an overpayment. So that means you should be getting a return. So Box 34 should be a happy box. 
means that you're getting money back. 147. Line 34, you want refunded to you. Some people choose not to actually get the money back for some reason. All right, next one, box 37. Amount you owe, subtract 33 from 24 for details how pay E. Okay, so do we owe money? No, so I put zero. I don't owe, I overpaid, so I should be getting money back. Alrighty, let's scroll down. Next thing we're gonna have here is down here. So we don't worry about this because we don't owe. Don't worry about this because no one is filling this out for you. Now, you are gonna forge a signature right now. You're gonna forge Billy J. What is it? Does. 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 Billy J. Does. And what is Billy J. Does' occupation? Go look at his W-2. What does he do for a living? He's a teacher. He is a teacher. And guess what? We're done. That's it. He doesn't get paid a whole lot. <laughs> Welcome to teacher. All right, so this is what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to, this is it. This is our sample. I'm going to have you guys do one of these again later, but you're going to use this one as a reference. But first thing, before we do that, I'm going to like, share, and subscribe to this, and...